So joining us next is Baljeet Malhotra, founder and CEO of Teej Lab, talking to us about monitoring the API ecosystem at global scale. Hi, Prashant. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. I can see your screen. Stage is all yours. Thank you so much, Prashant. And uh, thanks, uh, everyone, for joining this session. Hopefully, you can see my screen. Um, so just a quick uh, intro about myself. Um, uh, I've been uh, into the security space for the last 10 years or so. In the last five years or so, my focus has been on API risk management. Uh, before that, I was uh, part of uh, Black Tech team um, as a VP of research, looking after applying data science, data mining technologies for open source risk management. Before that, I was with the SAP, again, uh, looking at uh, some of the risk management related usage coming from open source usage. So uh, plenty of my time has been spent working with great colleagues, uh, looking at some of the applications of data science, data mining technologies uh, for risk management related problems. My focus today is uh, about APIs. And uh, here is what I want to say about APIs to motivate uh, our audience. If you look at the growth of APIs, you can very much see the journey they are taking compared to uh, web uh, sites. So web services, I'm talking about APIs that are available as a, uh, as a service over the internet. I'm not talking about APIs uh, that are available local as a process. So if you look at the, the growth that APIs are taking, we are already talking about uh, API is taking the digital world in a big way. You know, 83% of the internet traffic today is through these web APIs. Uh, just before myself, uh, the other talk was talking about how the security uh, uh, threat is evolving as uh, the ecosystem of APIs are growing. Now, here is a, another interesting perspective to look at uh, the growth of uh, these APIs. Uh, on the very left-hand side, I have shown, uh, rather on the right-hand side, I have shown the comparison of a growth of APIs with the growth of uh, open source uh, projects or libraries. And uh, we know that open source has changed the software industry for better uh, in a big way. Uh, almost uh, it has become a, a de facto industry standard. Any solution you pick, there is an open source. APIs in many ways are replacing that. Uh, they are the new open source. Um, and if you look at the, the graph on the left-hand side, you will see how these different big vendors are actually coming up with different services, uh, you know, exposed to these different, uh, different APIs. And we will see this, uh, th these trends continue to grow uh, in the next decade or so. We are already tracking hundreds and thousands of APIs, but these numbers will grow uh, to millions and perhaps billions in the future. And if you if you are comparing the graphs, uh, the growth at which these APIs are uh, having uh, is actually exceeding the growth at which uh, the open source uh, received. Now, I want to give you a enterprise uh, view as well. So we talked about growth of APIs at a global scale and uh, what some of those uh, implications could be uh, for uh, you know, various cybersecurity programs. But let's take a look at how these API ecosystem within enterprise could be interacting with different ecosystems and hence uh, affecting our uh, uh, our security posturing or compliance posturing and other related areas. If you look at the bottom, uh, APIs are already interacting with our digital ecosystems. Uh, we as a company, here we are uh, showing a system which is essentially enabling us to track these APIs at a global scale. We are looking at uh, networks, we are looking at uh, open source uh, libraries or ecosystems where we can find these APIs to uh, to look for different trends and patterns. 
Uh, if you move up in the chain, we are also looking at different stakeholders that are part of this ecosystem that help us uh, track this, uh, uh, this large growing ecosystem. Here is a, a, a real snapshot of a, a global ecosystem of APIs uh, at a given point in time. And each dot here represents uh, an API or a vendor that is hosting a service in that particular region. So as you can imagine, these are uh, services. Uh, vendors could be in one country and the services could be another country for various reasons, cost cutting reasons. Uh, DevSecOps reasons or other aspects of compliance and whatnot. But the point is, there are a lot of issues because of the way these APIs may be spread across different geographies, which could have impact on your data sovereignty, uh, the way these uh, APIs are interacting, you could have performance issues and other aspects. So why we are interested in tracking this at the global scale. So the very important aspect about understanding this ecosystem is to see what kind of issues we see across different industries, the kind of APIs that are available as APIs become open APIs, not at standards, but I'm talking about uh, APIs that are publicly available for free uh, as more and more innovations take place, a lot of these services are being exposed through APIs. So governance is, is a, a very important issue for enterprises. And if you look at the very first bar that I'm showing, providing a comprehensive API governance inside and outside your organization is important. And of course, it starts with your organization and having the ability for us to look at these APIs at a global scale that allows us to uh, make certain recommendations from a governance point of view. And also uh, the visibility is a, uh, a huge issue or a gap uh, with a lot of these enterprises. And what do I mean by visibility is a lot of APIs get into your ecosystem without actually you realizing uh, when and how they made uh, as part of your ecosystem. And one of the reason is the open source usage itself. Uh, a developer may download a library from GitHub for one particular technical reasons or business functionality, whatever that may be. But those APIs may have certain API integrations, even a single sign-on API. So many ways these APIs could get as part of your ecosystem without even you, you realizing it. On top of that, you may buy uh, or acquire assets uh, as you go through these m and processes to expand your business. So discovery is also very important. So tracking uh, these different APIs from various industries, vendors, uh, allows us to have that kind of visibility uh, through various API discovery mechanism. The other important aspect is we wish to see what kind of operational or legal or security aspects we could see uh, companies managing when they adopt third-party services. Now, obviously, many times you may not have built these services. You may simply depend on them. But as your products and services or your digital footprint starts to depend on these third services, there are all kinds of legal issues, security issues, in many cases, I gave the example of an open API, uh, which could be free, but free does not necessarily mean that you don't have obligation, just like the usage of open source software. And therefore, uh, having the ability for us to track these different issues at a global scale allows us to make certain recommendations to specific industries, specific organizations, and whatnot. Uh, and also very importantly, um, as we understand, APIs are a very important part of digital ecosystem. So, and companies have invested heavily into this ecosystem and leveraging upon those investment is very important. So how these ecosystems are interacting with each other. So cost is always a big factor. So we could see this at a global scale, how these ecosystems, what kind of digital uh, strategies, what kind of terms of services or SLAs could be uh, impacting these ecosystems is also very important in the context of your uh, investment. 
And last but not the least, when APIs are being adopted as products, uh, companies are building APIs, companies are consuming APIs built by others, managing their entire life cycle is very important. And each stage uh, is very important. So this, uh, this ability for us to look at all these issues from a global perspective allows us to provide that kind of life cycle management capabilities. So to sum this up, as the invisibility grows because of the usage across your enterprise products and services, you may be dealing with thousands of APIs within just your enterprise. Uh, I've seen uh, in several cases, a single product having thousands of API integrations. And uh, from a usability point of view, you may have different teams consuming these APIs across different business units. So that is also very important from a discovery point of view, uh, knowing what exactly you need to do, what, what you need to do, uh, how to deal with these vendors. Uh, for example, if there are different teams within a single organization that need to use uh, same API, uh, which could be a common across different uh, digital services, do you deal with uh, you know, 10 different accounts? So usability is a, is a, a huge issue. And scalability, as I mentioned, uh, uh, is, is no matter what you do, you have to deal with sooner or later. Uh, if you're dealing with one API, 10 API, 100 API, that's another story. Uh, but if you're dealing with hundreds of different products and thousands of different API integrations across those products, you know how do you manage your security? How do you automate some of the tests? Uh, how do you uh, deal with certain compliance objectives you may have to meet some of the standards or best practices uh, that could be part of your roadmap. So how we are enabling this? What does this uh, global API knowledge base consist of? So I'm going to give some examples. So one of the important aspects that we are doing currently uh, as part of our global tracking uh, system is track APIs across various uh, businesses or industries, uh, whatever you want to call it. And you as an enterprise and as an organization, you may see these APIs differently as well. But categorization across different dimensions, uh, cataloging them is very, very important. And that's exactly what we are trying to do. You know, tracking AI, data science, specific APIs, tracking APIs that are focused on certain business technologies, APIs that are dealing with cryptocurrencies and whatnot. It's just a, it's just a mind boggling uh, space. Also tracking APIs across different geographies. Uh, we see a lot of activities uh, in North America uh, on East Coast and West Coast and some in the middle and some activity on, uh, on Western uh, Europe side and some in Australia, India, and very few in China and Russia. Uh, so that allows us to see how these innovations are uh, shaping up across different geographies. Now, mind you, many of these APIs could be behind the firewall that we couldn't see. And of course, as we are tracking hundreds and thousands, and this number goes into millions, you know, this would be interesting to see uh, how different countries are contributing to different innovations when it comes to providing these kind of services um, uh, through APIs. Apart from tracking the categories and vendors, looking at a holistic view uh, on, uh, on, on different aspects, either these are different versions, where they are hosted, uh, what are the different, uh, uh, you know, uh, API documentation pages, what are the legal agreements associated with those are some of the important pieces of information uh, as part of the, uh, the API glo global knowledge base uh, that we have put in place. Uh, search is very important uh, element as part of your um, enterprise uh, uh, API portal or whatever capabilities you may have. Search is going to be a very, very important aspect. As within an enterprise, these numbers grow into hundreds and thousands, you know, searching APIs will become very, very difficult. Uh, forget about the, the global scale. Um, so having the ability to provide 
this these capabilities where you have contextual search. I'm not just talking about a simple keyword search, but I'm talking about a search with certain context. And also looking at vendor-related information that I've already mentioned, but looking at, uh, you know, for a specific vendor, what kind of services they're providing. Uh, if you talk about weather API, then there are hundreds of different weather APIs uh, by different vendors. By So looking at, from a vendor's perspective, what services are there could be very, very important part of the piece uh, that you that you needed. Some of these pieces of information uh, are important from operational point of view in the sense that when you're doing these API integrations, you want to know not only just uh, this uh, these static pieces of information, but more dynamic, what data is being transacted by these APIs. So having the ability for you to look into sample responses uh, is going to be key. Last but not the least, you also need, especially when it comes to the third-party APIs, you also need certain ways to see the security posture of those APIs. Now, you may not be able to uh, do a SQL injection test against an API. So here, uh, or, or maybe at least with your own internal APIs, you can perform some of these tests. So having the ability to run some of these test cases and have the uh, security information, uh, either on the uh, strength of uh, authentication, authorization problems, uh, having this information is going to be very, very crucial to protect your digital assets. So in conclusion, you need ways to discover your APIs across uh, enterprise products and services. And us having the ability to track these APIs at a global scale allows us to see what kind of coverages you need, what kind of costs you wanna, uh, you wanna save and put in place to manage your digital assets, how you can reduce those risks that comes from the usage of those APIs, especially third-party APIs, and achieve your compliance objectives. At the end of the day, you want to build trust with your uh, API ecosystem. You're not building APIs for yourself. You're building APIs for your partners, customers. And in some cases, uh, or more majority of cases, you may have a, a pricing strategy or you may have a monetization strategy in mind. So having the ability to build a trust by tracking these different analytics, having the automation and continuous monitoring in place will enable us uh, these different components. So with that note, uh, this is my contact information. Uh, Prashant, I am ready for any questions that you may have, or if there are any questions from the audience, I'm also, uh, I can take those questions as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, Shabaljit, yeah. so um, while uh, your presentation uh, no, uh, talk, spoke about the need for API monitoring and it clearly conveys that you have a perfect solution and offering for that. And there is a need uh, in, in the enterprises, but it's, it may not be known or, I mean, they may, not, may or may not have realized it. So how much is that you know, awareness that is there in the, in, in the concerned set of uh, you know, stakeholders? about a need to have it or that urgency to have it? I would say there is a mixed bag of things. It depends on the maturity of organizations. We, are, we, we have spoken to at least 100 or so very uh, uh, different uh, range of organizations. And their preparedness and the ability to track even their own enterprise API ecosystem, unfortunately, the state of art is they don't know all their APIs. And mm -hmm. having, having a gateway in place, having a portal in place does not solve your entire sets of problem I'm talking about. Right. Uh, as I mentioned, discovery is a huge problem. And that leads to all kinds of security issues, compliance issues. Uh, in particular, a lot of APIs are becoming you know, publicly available free APIs. And developers by nature are creative. They're adding those APIs to reduce their DevOps cycle. Uh, and But, you know, this is causing other kinds of problems. So the, uh, to answer your question, I would say majority of the organizations 
are not fully prepared to have that kind of monitoring, uh, continuous monitoring in place. Um, mm. Their gateways do not solve all their problems. They do solve some problems, but not all. Portals are one way to consolidate some of those issues. But again, you know, APIs can get into your ecosystem from open source usage simply because okay. a developer downloaded a library and it fell apart your entire your entire program. So yes, uh, and companies are you know waking up to that that challenge, and uh, we as a community member are trying to help on some of those fronts. Great, um, great to know that, uh, Baljeet. Um, so that's all. Uh, there are no more questions. So it was uh, it was a pleasure to have you here at APA Days Dubai and Middle East. Thank you so looking much. Forward, yeah, looking forward to working together in the future. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Bye.